Well, let me tell you a little bit about my entrepreneur history. I always want to start my own business. <laughs> uh, uh, the first two businesses I failed at. Actually, I went to school, got an MBA, and then I, uh, and I did that on GI Bill. You know, I was in Vietnam. Three years, two months, nine days, I drove ships. <laughs> I was a ship driver. And uh, it was a great experience. Uh, so when I came back, you know, I was a terrible student and undergraduate. I couldn't get into graduate school. That's why I didn't want to get drafted. So I joined the Navy. So I have clean sheets to sleep on. Well, I always want to start a business, got an MBA, uh, starting, starting businesses, and they all failed. Every one of them, because I, I was doing it like they taught me in MBA school. <laughs> you know, you need money, you go to the bank. You know, God, you don't go to the bank for money if you have no money and want to start a business. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they won't talk to you. And so after that, then I had no money. I scraped together money to start businesses, and they failed. And so the next time I started a business, I was like, God. I'm not going to waste any money, you know, and that's the only thing. So what I did was really just started um, just getting uh, getting customers. Nothing else matters but customers. Didn't waste any money on anything else. And then I started learning about government programs. I mean, that's incredible what they have. And then after I, you know, because I grew up in a very conservative town in the middle of coal mining in Pennsylvania, and everybody would do it yourself, and John Wayne and all this kind of stuff. I had no idea that the government was there to help people. And now I see, wow. Like here, Elon Musk, okay, and Tesla and SpaceX, they get so much damn government money, it's incredible. And these are the big titans of capitalism, you know, that say, oh, the government is nothing, you know, you know, stay away from the government. Man, they use the hell out of it. Everybody, all these fat cats, Amazon gets so, so much money from the government, it's incredible. <laughs> and here's just alone, $4.7 billion and counting. <laughs> here, okay, Trump, man, Actually, you read his first book about uh, um, the art of a deal or whatever that was, because I remember when that came out. And, and he he brags about how he got his first million dollar property was with a government program <laughs> in Ohio. I think it was in Cincinnati. Yeah, that's where he made all his money. His father lived off that. His father was so good at getting government contracts. It was incredible. <laughs> and that's what he, he, you know, he took over that business. That's my understanding. <laughs> uh, and then here, even now, see what Biden's doing is creating so many new businesses now. It's incredible. I mean, this is um, probably a trillion dollars or more are going to create businesses. And that means not maybe the fat cats are starting it because they're starting businesses for um, batteries and businesses for microchips and all this kind of stuff. But then if you're a small business, you get part of that too. And that's what, it, so you really have to learn about the system. And it's there for big fat cats, little fat cats, skinny fat cats, <laughs> mom and pop fat cats, anything. Now, what most uh, cities and counties have, so it usually goes down to the uh, local level. So it starts at the federal level and then goes down local level that the local people put money in the state puts money in and then they come up with things like this accelerators this is now in every state there's dozens of them dozens of them. what they do is take people with ideas okay this is government supported offices they take uh, people with ideas no money and they help you start a business. And they take a percentage of it too. So they take 5%, 10% of your business or whatever, but give you all the money you need and all the help you need to grow a business. See, the government wants you to do all that because then you're not gonna be you know, getting unemployment. You're making money, you're paying taxes. So they get more tax money out of you. So that's the kind of thing to look for. Uh, other kind of things are mom and pop help. Now this is a little program down in, uh, Miami, just for mom and pop businesses, you know, and they give out like twenty five hundred dollars, you know, to mom and pop every year. And, and I was just reading about the program too. It, the application is only um, available just for like a few weeks. That's it. And they have training, you know, to help you fill out the application. And actually, here I have a copy of the application. Here, it's only four pages. Fill in the blanks. Do you realize that? Okay, four pages fill in. You don't need a government, uh, a, a grant writer, or anything. If you know your name and stuff like that, if you don't know that. Well, then maybe you want the name of your employees. Well, 
maybe if you don't know that, then you, yeah. And then fill in the blanks. How long have you been in business? Okay. Uh, do you live in, you know, where you say you live in? <laughs> yes, no, I wouldn't say it. Uh, business, describe your business and goods and service. That's, and that's it. You signed it, bim, bam, thank you, ma'am. And, and, and you're in the pot. But it's timing. When do they do it? And other kind of programs that are out there, right? This is a program uh, for uh, one, oh no, this is a four page, oh, this gives you $250,000 forgivable loan to own a business, okay? So this is a forgivable loan. How would you know to do that? I wouldn't, <laughs> until you find out about the program. So that's a, the thing is about finding the program. Long Beach, what they're doing is giving $10,000 grants, but more than that, uh, they give you one-on-one -on -one counseling. Okay, you sit down, I wanna count this business, okay. There's grant money, there's one-on-one -on -one counseling, all this, soup to nuts, cradle to grave, <laughs> uh, for you to need. What, uh, need. Uh, and that's it, or, or lots of one-on-one -on -one coaching for free. See, the other thing too, is people go, oh, I'm gonna get government money, and they go out and look for a grant or whatever. No, you don't do that. You know, you don't do that at all, because it's too complicated, and, and there's literally hundreds or thousands of, you wanna get these consultants that help you Get, find the money that is right for you. You don't know, there's too much out there, okay? So, but the consultants are free. See, these are free people. And if you come to me, I'm gonna charge you $20. <laughs> you wanna go to these people, they do it all day long, where you live, because most of this stuff is locally. You gotta know what's local, because particularly for entrepreneurs, small business, something like that, it's local, well, that's where the good stuff is. Uh, and, and so you wanna contact local people. Uh, find the local people to contact who are free. Oh, here, Inc. Magazine, government contracts is another thing. Look, uh, uh, last year, I think $178 billion went to small business. My sister has small business contracts. She got a million dollars of putting frames on <laughs> you know, uh, awards or something like that out of her you know, garage. Man, that's a nice business. Uh, but here's where to go. Okay, you go to sba.gov and then local assistance. Now you put in your zip code there, uh, 20009. Okay, within maybe 50 miles. I could drive. That's an hour drive, right? So let's see what's there. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, here are all the people within 48 organizations that are nonprofit that help people get money for their business. 48 organizations where I live that help people get money and help free, but you don't even have to know how to spell entrepreneur. Call them up and just say, I want to start to. I want to start a business, that's all. I, I, don't, I have little to no money, but I want to start a business. Can you help me? Okay, and you go and learn your options. You don't guess your options because the world is too complicated. You gotta go out and talk to people. Maybe you have to talk to four or five of these people. That's okay. What else you have? You gonna uh, go around in Google circles for five weeks, <laughs> whatever it's gonna take and still get nothing? No, you talk to real people. Now here's some other people and they get paid, not by you. So you don't have to worry about it. That's why just don't go to Google, please. Here's the other one. You wanna go to eda.gov. And here that you find all the, here's the economic development directory. Because these are the offices in your state that whose you know, uh, mission is to find people like you to start businesses and help them do that. See, there's people out there <laughs> that don't get paid. I mean, they already got paid. You know, in, in uh, Google, you'll find a lot, but they all want to get paid by you. These people already got paid, so they don't have to get paid by you. So this is how to start a business with no money. And now start looking for customers and learn the options. So somebody says, oh, you can't do it that way. Well, okay, what other ways to do it? You know, think about through the options. I always think there's more than one way to skin a can. There's more than one way to do it. And if you think you have to do it one way and it doesn't work out, you have to be creative enough to think of another way. And you sit down with somebody who does that uh, that creativity part and help you sh and show you other ways to start that business that you want to start, even if you have no money. Okay. And that's what we're trying to do at Let's Go Help is just train people and show them that you have options in life. Not all the crap you're going to see in, in YouTube or uh, Google and all this kind of stuff. People want to get your money. No, you want to give 
goods and services to other people and do it in a legitimate way and find help to do that. And that's out there and it doesn't have to charge any money. <laughs> that's what we're trying to show people. And because I, I started doing this by helping millionaires become billionaires and using all this free stuff. So why don't the people without any money become a millionaire? Then you can work up the ladder and become a billionaire. Okay. <laughs> and we also give out our own grants. And, and, and actually, tomorrow is our deadline. On the fourth of every month, we have a deadline where we give out $40,000 know, uh, to members. So if you're a member and membership is $20, uh, you're eligible for all our grants. You can win one of each. We have four. And the next one coming up is uh, December. No, not December. <laughs> Where the hell am I? <laughs> May 4th, okay? Okay? and midnight and then we have another one and we'll have one in June 4th too but we have three other grants one for re uh, uh, home repair one for you know car repair and rent and then 25 free laptops oh, I actually think we're going up to 30 now. 30 free laptops but tomorrow night is the deadline so get into that one first but we'll have another one tomorrow